pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Swamp Talk. I'm Destiny. And I'm Jazz. Winter roses are being sold at a table during lunch from February 2nd to Monday. They are $2 per rose or $20 per dozen. Attention students, you can purchase a yearbook with our sweetheart deal through the week of February 14th. The price is still $75 through next week. Yearbooks will be sold during lunches. You can, you can also pay online with the school pay on the LOLHS website. Order today. Don't delay. The price will go up after the 17th. The school store will be taking orders for minor Valentine's Day balloons for your sweetheart before school and sixth period lunch starting today until Monday in the Gator School Store at $3. Balloons will be delivered on February 14th during first period to your sweetheart. Congratulations to Coach King the Lady Gator soccer team for another trip to the state final four. The team plays against Dayton today at 7 p.m. at home. The team would love to see a huge turnout at the game and to support our team, so plan to be there. The admission is $9. No district passes or IDs can be accepted. Today is class color with seniors wearing pink, juniors wearing purple, sophomores wearing white, and freshmen wearing red. Attention class of 2018. You can still order your class of 2018 shirts and sweatshirts. Please see Miss Wilson in room 308. Attention seniors, today is the last day to vote for senior superlatives, so be sure to get your votes in. Voting closes at 3. Sanders Elementary is looking for volunteers after school from 2 to 3.30 in the Media Center. Please check with Miss Collin in room 300 or call Sanders to inquire about volunteering. Progress reports go home today in your first period. Everyone is singing or playing music on a project that's fresh and different. The Describes Music Project is looking for singers, MCs, string players, and instrumentalists of all types. Stop by Mr. Rowland's room during your lunch and write down your contact info if interested. Also, please write down what you do next to your name. Join us in appreciating our fabulous school counselors for National School Counseling Week today. The counseling staff does a phenomenal job each day helping all of Lander Lakes High School students. So if you see them in the halls, be sure to show them love and thank the counselors today. Just a reminder that the Media Center is open during lunches to utilize for academic use only. Social media and games are not permitted during the academic day on school technology. There's absolutely no food allowed in the Media Center. We'll be having a spring pep rally today in the football stadium. Boys Basketball District Championship is at Mitchell at 7 tonight. Varsity Softball has a game tonight. First Tarpon at 7.30. All right, everyone, welcome to Short Sports. I'm Jacob Brown. Today I'm going to talk about the NBA and Major League Baseball. Starting with the NBA, Kevin Durant is going to return to Oklahoma City to face the Thunder tomorrow night at 8.30 on ABC. This has been the most anticipated return of any player to their city all season. As we can all remember, Kevin Durant was up three games to one against the Golden State Warriors in the Western Conference Final. He blew the 3-1 lead and then ended up going to the team that he lost to, which was Golden State, the following season. He's going to get booed heavily. It's going to be one of the best games of the season. Can't wait for that one. Moving on to Major League Baseball, spring training is about to start. Now, the Rays have had a very interesting offseason. They've traded Logan Forsythe away. They've traded Drew Smiley away. They've had a lot of interesting offseason moves. I'll talk about the Rays next week. And, oh yeah, Tom Brady was absolutely fantastic in the Super Bowl. Now, he wasn't amazing in the first half. The Patriots, everyone knows, were down 28-3 going into the half. And then Tom Brady turned into Tom Brady in the final half. He took over the New England Patriots. I was always dubious of Tom Brady because I always said he was a product of Bill Belichick and his system. But that was not the case in the second half of the Super Bowl. He completely took over. Now, you could also say that Julian Edelman's catch, without that catch, Tom Brady would not have been able to do the things that he did. But I say, without Tom Brady, Julian Edelman doesn't have the opportunity to make a catch that has any sort of importance. And now we're finally done with the NFL for the season. The only time I'm going to talk about the NFL for the rest of the school year is the NFL draft. So from now on, it's going to be basketball, hockey playoffs, and baseball for the rest of the school year. And for this edition of Short Sports, I'm Jacob Brown, and we'll see you next time. And that's it for today, Gators. Tune in next time for another edition of Swamp Talk.